Rubrics offer a convenient and objective way of assessing work or performance through a matrix of criteria and levels of achievement of those criteria. As we all know, good rubrics take time to create, but once done can be a real time saver for teachers as they can be reused again and again. So why should we use rubrics? Here are some reasons. Students can know in advance the requirements for an assignment and how to receive the best score. Assignment requirements can be clear and detailed. Multiple people can assess the work. And finally, students can self-assess the quality of their work and use teacher feedback to improve. Rubrics are not a panacea or should be used for all assignments, but for many project-based assignments, rubrics can be a valuable tool. In Moodle 2.0, you now have the ability to create a rubric and add it to an assignment, enabling an easy way to grade and provide helpful feedback to students. In fact, you can create two types of rubrics, a checklist or a traditional rubric with levels of achievement by selecting your marking method. One thing you will need to remember, Moodle will not save your rubric if it adds up to more than 100 points. First, I'll show you how to create a checklist rubric and add it to an assignment. Then, I'll move on to the traditional rubric. Checklist rubric. First, create your rubric. In Moodle 2.0, under Settings, Course Administration, you will see a rubrics link. Click this, and then click the Create New Rubric button at the bottom of the page. By default, Moodle has the checklist marking method, which will create a checklist style rubric. Make sure you name your rubric, and then simply add the criteria and the guidelines needed to obtain the score. To add more guidelines to a row, simply click the green plus sign at the end of a row. To add more criteria to a column, click the green plus arrow at the bottom of each column. To delete any of the cells, click the red X under each cell. To delete a row, click the red X under criteria at the beginning of each row. When you are satisfied with your rubric, click the Save Rubric button at the bottom of the page. If your rubric has saved correctly, you will get a rubric saved message at the top of the page. Next, add your rubric to your assignment. In this example, I've already created an assignment, so I will navigate to Edit Settings under Settings Assignment Administration. To add a rubric as the grading method, simply select your created rubric under the Grade section. Click the drop-down box and select your rubric. In this example, my rubric is called Learning Log Rubric. Under Grade, I include the total number of points for this assignment. As always, you will need to save your assignment, so scroll down and select Save and Return to Course or Save and Display if you want to see how your assignment looks. When your students visit this link, they will be able to view the rubric and any information you included in the assignment description. Now, let's look at grading this assignment. 
As you can see, this is a checklist rubric. So for students to receive the total possible points, you will need to check each of the cells. See how you can also include comments for each criteria and overall feedback for the assignment. If you allow students to resubmit assignments, you can also update the grade with new feedback. Students will be able to view the rubric and the comments you included in their grades link. Now, let's look at how to create a rubric with levels of achievement, where you would select one cell per row. This requires one more initial step, creating a scale as your marking method. In this example, I will create a numeric scale, which can be calculated as a grade. However, you can create any number of scales with Moodle, such as a descriptive scale. Not cool, not very cool, fairly cool, cool, very cool, the coolest thing ever. To find out more about scales in Moodle 2.0, Go to this Moodle Docs page and you can find out more about scales. So this is going to be a traditional rubric. First you need to create your scale. Before you create your scale, determine the maximum number of possible points for each category, which is called guidelines in the Moodle rubric. In this example, the maximum number of points is going to be 20. So we're going to create our scale. Click Grades under Settings Course Administration. Click the drop down box and select Scales View. To create a new scale, click the Create Add a New Scale at the bottom of the page. I've already created a scale called 20 points scale. Let's look at this one. One thing you'll need to know about creating scales. You can create numeric scales or text-based scales, just about any kind of a scale. You need to enter your points or your wording in ascending order. So in this example, I started with 0 and ended with 20, with commas between each number. You would also want to include description about this scale for your students. After you have created your scale, click the Save Changes at the bottom of the page. So you've created your scale. Now you're going to create your rubric and select your scale as the marking method. So click Rubrics, again under Settings Course Administration. Click the Create New Rubric button at the bottom of the page. Name your rubric. And under Marking Method, click the drop-down box to select your scale will select the 20 point scale. Click the Update Marking Method button to update the rubric marking method. You will now see little drop down boxes under each guideline, allowing you to select the maximum number of points for each guideline. Enter your criteria and guidelines and select the possible number of points for each guideline. These don't have to match each criteria, the number of points, but remember the total number of points for the rubric cannot go over 100. When you are satisfied with your rubric, 
click the Save Rubric button. Next, add it to the assignment just like you did before. Under the Grade section, select the rubric you created for this assignment. You can always preview it to make sure it is the correct rubric. Under Grade, you can either enter the total number of possible points or select the scale. Moodle will automatically calculate the number of total possible points. Of course, click Save. When you view your students' submitted assignments, you will be able to use this rubric to assess and provide feedback, just as you did with the checklist rubric. The only difference between this rubric and the checklist rubric is that you can only select one cell per row. Again, you can always update the assignment if a student has resubmitted and improved their work. So that is how you can create rubrics, add them to assignments, and make assessment and feedback a much easier process in Moodle 2.0. One more thing, you will probably want to include a copy of this Moodle rubric in your assignment instructions, not the actual assignment submission, but when you're giving students information about the assignment they are going to do. You can always get this link by going to the assignment, and clicking View Rubric. Or you can go to the rubrics and click the little View icon for any of your rubrics. Then simply copy and paste the link on your Moodle web page that has the instructions. That way, if you edit the rubric later on down the road, this link will automatically be correct and updated too. Thanks for viewing this tutorial on creating a checklist and a traditional rubric in Moodle.